Shout out, big homie. Tay lit. All right, y'all. Shout out to Ayo Canseco, man. Because he actually brought me to a whole different mindset of doing new videos catered towards the women now. You know, so it was my first video, I guess, for the series. Today, we're going to talk about the biggest problems a lot of you females is having in the bedroom. Because uh, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Um, I really, I'm really here to help. You know what I'm saying? I'm really here to help anybody that's willing to listen to me. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. But, um... And with women, I'm starting to see that a lot of y'all is having trouble with just not only just connecting with your man, but understanding how to build chemistry with your man. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying sometimes y'all make having sex a chore, you know, or make it a, like a job. You don't want them to start making the man feel like he's forced to have sex with you or, you know what I'm saying? You want that chemistry and you want that bond, you know, sexual bond, I guess to come organically and also, you know what I mean, you have to play your part, ladies. You know what I mean? You got to make sure you play your part in, you know, building that chemistry, building that bond between you and your man and, you know, keeping him aroused, keeping him mentally stimulated, you know, in different areas, you know, because at the end of the day, that all combines into what goes down when y'all have sex. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be... Stressing dude out all day about dumb shit, you know what I mean? Shit that you know is dumb. Because a lot of you females know a lot of the shit y'all be talking about be dumb. Not just right. But a lot of y'all do be coming up here breaking your man's balls for no reason. And like, relax. You got to chill on that sometimes, man. Really chill, like, because you got to understand sometimes us as men, not just black men, we talk about men in general. Like, we have a lot on our, on our plate. And a lot on the mind at, at, at any given time. So, you know, we can't we can't come home to you and you're adding on to the stress and then expect us to still want to have sex with you. You know what I'm saying? You can't add to the stress and then really expect a person to really want to be, you know, assimilated by you because it's probably not going to happen. It isn't going to happen. So this is what I strongly advise you ladies to do. I mean, like, first and foremost, man, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta be, you have to be your man's stress reliever. He should not feel stressed around you at all. He's supposed to feel calm, cool, and collective around you at all times, ladies. At all times, he's supposed to be just, his mind should be at ease when he sees you. He's supposed to be like, oh, yeah, my girl's here to me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't even make y'all men feel like that. And that's where a lot of y'all problems come in because y'all don't make y'all man feel like, Damn, this is my shorty, yo. Like, I'm here. Like, I can just chill. Like, I don't even give dudes that type of feeling. Like, you know, like, and that's a lot of the things that build to intimacy, that builds into sex. You know, so work on that, ladies. Like, y'all gotta start working on not. It's not. It's not. It's just sometimes y'all think it's y'all put so much into how much, how I mean, how good you look, that you're not putting forth any real effort to actually, you know keep your man calm, keep your man relaxed, keep your man, like, you know what I mean, stress-free. Having a stress-free man is going to make him even want, want to have sex even more. When you sitting here, you just beefing about everything, and you know what I mean, like, you got to stop that. You know what I mean? Another thing, too, is that you got, sometimes you got to talk to, you got to talk to your man, too. Make sure you take that time to talk to your man and see what he actually really does, like, or also see what type of things he's willing to explore with you, you know, you gotta find out what he wants, find out what he likes, you know what I mean, like you guys can, you know, can experiment with each other and find out what you both want, so that's something that you can think of also, you know, cause you gotta, you got, you really, like, y'all women don't understand something about y'all, like, y'all are supposed to be, like, like the the asset, the assistant to a man, like you know what I'm saying, like a man's supposed to be able to rejoice to his woman and stuff like that, and y'all not doing that sometimes, like yeah, I don't think y'all even care about it sometimes, you know, and that's not cool, you know, that's not cool at all. So I I strongly suggest that you work on being more of a of a stress reliever for your man first and foremost before we even really start going into actual sexual acts. 
a lot of y'all women don't realize how much you need to just help your man just relax. Like, you supposed to be that for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, the world is supposed to already be against him. He's supposed to come home to his girl to relax. Not to be stressed out even more. So, but I feel like I'm talking too much. Um, I'm going to break this, this subject and maybe up into a couple of videos, but this is just part one. And ladies, if y'all feeling it, let me know, man, because I'm going to keep talking to the ladies for a little while, man. I feel like, you know, like, I got a lot of, like, I got a lot of information to give out, and I want the women more on my side, man. I'm here for the ladies, man. I love the ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all follow everything below. You already know. And if you got a subject or anything you want to want to ask me, leave it in the comments. All right, we up. But uh, yeah, shout out to Taylor, man. That nigga, I've I've never met, you know what I'm saying, a porn star before, and um, that nigga's a fucking porn star. So to get into it. Oh, and yo, shout out to Taylor. Keep doing your thing. Keep grinding. I swear, he got all the answers to the sex industry. If I have any questions when it comes to that, he's just all the way 100. He ain't shysty. He ain't gotta put on no front or nothing. You're going to be big, bro. Keep going.